Today's video is the second part on DaVinci Resolve. Today I'll be showing you how to create your question and answer part of your video. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Bob Chislinski and I'm a band director. I make YouTube videos to teach and entertain you about all things related to music. If you didn't see part one about creating an intro, make sure to click on the link above. Let's get right into the video today. We're almost finished building this. I'm going to drag my timeline out to the end. And now I have this clip that's 10 seconds. I'm going to click on it and drag it down. And I'm going to put it right behind that birthday background. And now I have this clip that's going to play right after my question number one. And it's going to go right into a 10 second countdown. At the end of this 10 second countdown, I'm going to take one of my pictures that I found free online. And I think uh, let's when you're looking for the pictures, by the way, it's a good idea to find pictures that are a little bit wider than they are taller. And that way they're going to just fit in the they're just going to fit a little bit better. All right. So basically what I need to do now is I need to find a picture from a movie and I think I'm going to take this one because it's going to allow me to show you how I adjust things and this is the Incredibles and I just click on it grab it and drop it down where it belongs I'll show you that again I come over I click on it when you have that red box around whatever clip media you're using that's the one that you're gonna be working with so I click on it I drag it and I just drop it right in behind where the uh, 10 second countdown timer was. Now that's highlighted, so I'm still working with that. And you can see up here on our screen that it doesn't fit right. Now I always like to click on the dynamic range. And once that dynamic range is picked, you can see the picture adjusted a little bit and it's gonna be a moving picture. And then I come up here to where it says zoom and I just zoom that in to where I would like it. I might need to come over and adjust my Y axis. And all I do is just drag that down so I get a nice picture on screen and make sure that zoomed really nice. And then when I go back and that plays, it's going to just zoom it real nice. Another thing you can do is click on the dynamic zoom and open it up and you can click swap and it zooms the other way. So it comes in instead of going out. I like it to go out. I think that looks the best. And I'll drag this timeline all the way over to the end. And you can see our picture doesn't fit yet. So I'll just kind of zoom that in so that the beginning of my picture and the end of my picture are all zoomed in and it's on that screen really nice. Then the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come over and I'm going to find my audio. There it is right there. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to drag it down to the bottom and I'm going to put it right in after my audio clip that I use for my intro. And right now I'm just going to kind of do a test run. I'm going to hit play and we're going to see what this looks and sounds like. And you could notice that down here the audio was clipping. It was way too loud. So a real easy trick. You can come over here and you can adjust right here over on the mixer itself. But then it's going to affect your whole entire timeline for your all your audio clips. What I like to do is come over and I click on the audio clip. Then I right click. Then I come up to where it says normalize audio levels. I click on that. Usually if you can put this around 10 decibels, minus 10 decibels, that's a very good place. It's going to come out really nice in your video. All you have to do is pull to the right or pull to the left to change how loud or soft it is. And then you just simply come down and click normalize. You notice that clip 
it got smaller, the WAV files. I'm going to click Undo so you can see where our clip was. This is how it sounded. I right click, click Normalize. I've got this on minus 10 where I would like it. I click Normalize, it brought it down. Here is how our clip sounds now. You can see over in the mixer, it's staying below that minus 10 decibels. Our picture looks great. The last thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to make sure we click on this audio track and we're going to come over to cut. So down the bottom, I clicked on cut. I'm going to click on that audio track. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to come up to where it says split. I click on split. Now I click on the part of the audio track I no longer want. I right click and click cut. I'm going to come back to the edit page and in the edit page, now we can see that my audio track is lining up with my video part of this section. And the last thing that I usually do is I come over, my arrow comes right over to the end of this clip and you can see those white little tabs show up. I click on it and I drag it to the left maybe about a second or two. And now I have a fade out. So I'm going to bring my timeline back and we can listen to the fade out. Now, the easiest thing to do after this is to do a copy and paste. And I have another one of these that I copied and pasted. And I'm going to click and highlight all of these parts. And I'm going to pull them over. And I'm going to put them right behind the clip that I just made. And that's all I do then. So all I'm doing is I'm clicking off of the parts that I built, dragging my window down over top of what I would like to copy. I right click and I come up and click copy. I'm going to take my timeline down to the end of this and I'm going to give it some space because remember we're putting a picture in here. Then I'm going to click right where that timeline is. I'm going to right click and I'm going to click paste insert. When I click paste insert, it puts it right where the timeline is and now I have space for my picture. Then all I have to do is come back, click on my text box, come up and change my number. And now I'm all ready for clip number two. To learn more about music related content like the video you watched today, make sure to click on one of the videos on your screen right now. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. That way you'll get all of the videos as soon as they're released. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video.